Residents in a Seabrook townhouse escaped from a blaze unharmed after a family member allegedly sparked the fire. Good evening. This is CTV News for Tuesday, May 20th. I'm Rochelle Metzger. And I'm Byron Scott. Thank you for joining us tonight. Well, a person is in custody, police custody, following an arson in Seabrook this morning. Police say the fire is set by a family member around midnight. This happening on the 8600 block of Braybrook Drive. Now, the fire was contained to a bedroom on the second floor of the townhouse. It took firefighters about 15 minutes to put out the flame. Residents were able, though, luckily to escape without any injuries. Now, the Red Cross has placed them at a local hotel. Meanwhile, Prince George's fire EMS crews respond to a house fire in College Park this afternoon. Firefighters were called to the 9,000 block of Gettysburg Lane around 1.30. They found a two-story split-level single-family home with flames shooting out from the roof. There were no reported injuries. The cause of the fire is under investigation. And the numbers are out on pedestrian fatalities in our area, and the numbers are disturbing. Over the past 12 years, more than 1,000 pedestrians have been killed on Maryland's roads. And more than 200 of those, or 20%, were right here in Prince George's County. Now, the reason, according to a new report, too many roads are built for speed and not safety. Now, the Coalition for Smarter Growth released its findings today in a report. The group advocates making roads safer and streets safer for people on foot and bike bicycles by making design changes. The organization says the numbers are up a little because more people are walking and biking to work these days. One of the big things, there's a, a national movement called the Complete Streets Movement, um, and that really means implementing a lot of different things that help slow traffic down, that help accommodate bicyclists, pedestrians, and car drivers to make sure that all can coexist peacefully on the road. So that often means creating wider sidewalks, making shorter crossing distances, and making crosswalks um, and, and stoplights much more visible. Now, despite the high number of fatalities, Maryland ranks the 15th in the nation for the safest roads for pedestrians in the country. Six students and two adults are taken to the hospital with minor injuries after a car crashes into the school bus on Pinebrook Road in Landover. The incident happened just before 9 this morning. Police say the driver of the car tried to go around the stopped bus and struck the back end bumper. A photo posted by Prince George's police show the rear driver's side corner of the bus dented with some minor damage. The incident remains under investigation. Well, if you plan to get away for the upcoming holiday weekend, you'll have plenty of company. AAA Mid-Atlantic is forecasting the highest travel volume locally for Memorial Day in nearly a decade. Spokesman John Townsend says air travel at the region's three major airports is expected to jump nearly 3%. The biggest increase will be the 89% planning to hit the highways. 900,000 persons traveling in the Washington metro area, 800,000 persons traveling in the state of Maryland alone, and you have a million persons traveling in the state of Virginia alone. You add those up, that's 2.7 million people in those three jurisdictions who'd be traveling 50 miles or more from home. 2.4 million of those will be traveling by car, but we'll see the biggest increase in the number of persons traveling by other modes of transportation, such as by train and by bus. In total, the Auto Club expects more than 15% of the nearly 6 million people living in the greater Washington region will travel 50 miles or more for the holiday. But Townsend says if you think that means D.C. area will be a ghost town, think again. For every person that leaves the Washington metro area this weekend, there will be a person taking his or her place because Operation Rolling Thunder is coming into town, and that will bring between 900,000 and a million Vietnam era vets will be here to celebrate and commemorate those who are missing in action and POWs. Uh, for the most recent. Townsend says this year's tally is the second highest travel volume for Memorial Day in the Washington metro area since the beginning of the millennium. How about that? Exactly. And you are watching CTV News. I'm Byron Scott. And I'm Rochelle Metzger.